So now we got to do some nested tags. This exercise has the objective to show you that you can put tags within tags and nest them basically. So it's telling us here instructions. Let's play with some nested tags. Okay. So first, an h1 tag with a with a nested i tag. Okay. So h1, h1, and then hello world, and then I, and then close my eye, and I say italic word. Let's test this. So there you go. Hello world, italic word. That's how it looks. And that's how it's supposed to look. Well, I'm missing the dots here after this, and then some space, and it will look exactly the same after I do it. Hello world, italic word. Hello world, italic word. So now we gotta do the rest. So for this one it says add a P. So let's add the P inside of an H1. Oh, okay, so so the H1 goes first and the P tag goes later. And then inside the P tag, I'm assuming I have to put hello world and then after the P I guess I put italic word. I'm assuming that because it needs to look like that. I know a P a P will make it jump the jump the line. So there it is. Hello world italic world. This one is the first one, remember. This one is the second one. It's jumping the line here. Just gonna make it look like that. So you gotta improvise a little bit. That's but that's why HTML is hard to automatically grade because you can do it so many ways, so different ways. It's, it's more artistic than the other coding uh, like tasks that you will have as in a daily life and then the last one is add one long paragraph p so p tag with 20 words at least so i'm going to use uh, the loading ipsum generator loading ipsum ipsum that's that's a i think designers invented this it's like some dummy text that you can copy when when you don't know what to type because you're just doing doing it for the purpose of an example let's just put those words here okay and then uh another h1 inside so because of the, because of the picture i know that i have to put the h1 first h2 my bad h2 then i close my h2 and then uh, everything has to be wrapped on an anchor, so I wrap it on an anchor here. And the anchor has to take two, doesn't say, so href. href empty. And here I gotta put something like hello. Okay, let's see how this looks. There you go, it looks exactly the same as the example. Um, I don't know what happened there that it's not looking uh, in colors anymore. I guess if you close the, the the file and you open it again, it should have the colors now. If it still doesn't have it, maybe refreshing the, the website. Let's see. Let's refresh it. This happens sometimes in Gitpod. It doesn't happen often. It happens like every, I don't know, every week once or maybe every month, depending on a lot of factors it's not showing up the ah it does now okay it's showing up the colors again so that's it that's that exercise